Hey there, I just wanted to do a quick update on today's stitching related things. Um, basically, uh, here I have my work in progress. It's um, a pattern called QS Dryad with a Peacock. Um, as you can see, it has like tons of really gorgeous colors and um, like that flower has probably like 50 colors or I don't know, something like that. Really cool. So as you can see, um, I can't really decide on a method for cross-stitching these um, heaven and earth designs, especially with so much confetti. So I sort of was doing cross-country, and now I'm sort of parking and have a couple of, like, random little waist knots in there. Um, the thing I modified with this pattern was... Um, this is uh, white from the Sullivan's Floss Company. Um, they have the DMC colors printed on their uh, labels. Um, I don't have the packaging anymore. Um, it's all in a bobbin box. Um, so here's how I pretty much store my floss. I kind of write with a Sharpie on there. Um, I thought it would be a good idea at the time to get like 100 needles. So these are... John James 28 size tapestry needles, but um, in my opinion, they're a little bit too sharp. So um, I end up kind of like poking through my skin a little bit, and I don't really enjoy those very much. But um, I just posted this uh, picture of my little box on the um, Storage and Solutions Heaven and Earth Designs Facebook group, and I realized how um, neatly I drew all these little symbols on. These are, um, like, kind of, uh, cheapy little bobbins. I don't know. I think I ordered them from, like, eBay, um, in bulk. Uh, I also kind of, like, stuffed a bunch of needles inside the actual bobbins. Oh, they're still threaded. But, um, I don't know how well that's gonna necessarily work out. Uh, for reference, I think I stole this bobbin from another project so I wrote like Phoenix one on there and <laughs> see that's a that's a plastic one so normally the uh, sharpie ends up looking more like that uh, so I'm just gonna stuff that back in there um, so we had a um, 100 days of heaven earth designs where you're supposed to stitch every day uh, any little bit but you know, every time I've looked at this, I'm like, okay, how do I find my place? I can't even see the grid lines, uh, the pattern, I don't know where the paper copy is, and so I downloaded the PDF again onto my iPad, and I started trying to, like, um, highlight off what I think I've stitched, and it's all very confusing. So, uh, now I have found my storage... This is basically like a project bag, so I have like um, a pair of scissors, highlighter, earplugs, question mark, um, a Q-snap with the, with the fabric still on there, and then um, I have another bag. These are two and a half gallon size bags with a bunch of Q-snaps and uh, clamps in there, but they were on the top shelf and I did not know where they were until uh, I was cleaning today the living room and uh, stood up on the couch arm and, and knocked them down from the top. So this is an 8x8 just for like size reference. It'll fit a whole page. This is 22 count Ecru Hardanger and then I'm um, stitching two threads over one full crosses. Also, interestingly, I have my diamonds painting right here. So this is the page um, for a size comparison. Let me zoom out a little here. That is the page size. These are both QS size patterns, so approximately the same width um, of the design will show. See, I, I kind of girded out the um, the side and the line down the middle. And if we pull back this guy here, that's the whole width. It's like, I don't know, 10, 12, a couple something inches. 
This one, this one's gonna be like eight inches or something. So yeah, there we go. We're zooming out. So the diamond painting, you have to go really far back to be able to see um, a non-pixelated image. Anyway, so it's just um, quick things. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the Q-snap and uh, try to get some work in on it, and I'll post photos when I get a chance. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.